All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we all knew that the tech prime battle LR Super Saiyan Goku was going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening soon, right, for the 2000 day celebration on JP because it was revealed in the news about, I don't know, like a month ago, something like that. And at this point, we were just waiting for the details to drop. Well, the EZA details for the tech LR Goku are officially here and we are going to get to them in a second, but there's one other thing that I don't think anybody saw coming, at least I did not. It wasn't even something that like came to my mind, you know, like, anyways, <laughs> what I'm talking about is the fact that the thousand day spirit bomb LR Goku, the, you know, reward, the login bonus you get for playing for 1000 days in total is also getting his own Extreme Z Awakening as well. So two free-to-play LR Gokus getting EZAs around the same time, maybe at the exact same time. Not really sure what the release schedule is like, but either way, they're both coming soon. And uh, I just can't believe it, man. I, I really can't. But anyways, let's let's start with the tech Goku first, as he was the one we knew was coming, that we were anticipating. And of course, a big shout out to the homie Goresh on Twitter for these amazing translations. So starting with the leader skill, it's going to be super class, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%, or extreme class, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. So not quite a rainbow leader. Obviously he does boost super class and extreme class, but super class does get a, a bigger boost. And uh, for his, oh, by the way, that's compared to his old leader skill of all types, key plus 3, attack plus 3000 so a pretty significant upgrade right there is uh, new super attacks the 12 key it's going to greatly raise attack and defense for one turn and cause colossal damage and the 18 key is going to cause mega colossal damage and also increase critical hit chance by 10 percent and allies attack plus 30 percent for one turn now the way i'm reading this the critical hit chance is only for himself whereas of course the attack boost is for the entire rotation. I could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. So that's kind of a new mechanic right there. I don't think there's any other unit out there right now that increases their crit chance when they super. So that's kind of cool. And then his new passive is attack and defense plus 59%, gain key plus 3, and additional defense plus 59% as the first attacker in a turn. Gain an additional... Hold on, let me just... Uh, remove my face real quick so you guys can see everything and then an additional attack plus 59% when launching an ultra super attack and then all allies key plus three when attacking an extreme class enemy so um essentially he can get up to what it, what it would be a uh, hundred and eighteen percent attack and defense if you are attacking the same turn or sorry uh, you're if you're attacking as the uh, in the first slot of the turn and also launching an ultra super and you're also kind of supporting the the rotation as well by giving an extra three key if you're facing an extreme class enemy so uh yeah guys he's really good <laughs> that is really really good especially compared to his old passive attack of attack was 10,000 and defense was 3,000 when facing only one enemy so essentially he had like no passive when you were facing multiple enemies and now is getting that 59% attack and defense straight up, which is already really good, already a big upgrade. But then also getting more key, getting more defense, getting more attack, and uh, also supporting a little bit too. So what can I say, man? This dude's awesome. That's a really good Extreme Z Awakening right there. I'm excited to see what kind of numbers he can put out, but I do expect him to be quite impressive. I do expect him to just do some pretty, um, pretty good damage, maybe really good damage as well as doing some decent tanking too. And uh, that crit chance plus 10% is kind of cool. It's like, like a new, unique little mechanic. It's not really anything revolutionary, but definitely new. As far as I can remember, I don't think, that's, I don't think there's any other unit in the game that does that on their super attack. And that's pretty much it. That is the tech um, prime battle LR Super Saiyan Goku's Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that, how good you feel like it is. I'm very impressed though, man. I'm really happy with this. So that's the tech Goku. Now moving on to the STR Goku now. Once again, this is the um, 
free to play LR you get for playing the game in total for a total of thousand days. And of course it's called Thousand Fold Plea LR Goku. Leader skill is going to be all types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Dude, so it's a rainbow 120% leader skill. That's actually really, really good. That's going to be super useful. And uh, the new super attacks, the 12 key is going to be colossal damage and raises allies attack by 20% for 2 turns. Not just the 1 turn, but 2 turns. And then for the 18 key, it's going to be mega colossal damage and raises uh, allies attack and defense. By 30% for one turn. All right, so that 12 key is super interesting. So I guess he would also be supporting the next rotation as well. So when you launch that 12 key super, then not only the current rotation but the next rotation will also get that 20% uh, percent attack boost. And then the new passive is going to be attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional key plus one and attack and defense and critical hit chance plus 7% and recovers 7,777 HP per key sphere obtained. One second, let me just remove my face once again. And then also gains an additional defense plus 1,000 per key sphere obtained for 1,000 turns from the first appearance. And then gains an additional attack plus 2,000 per key sphere obtained for 2,000 turns from first appearance. All right, so. What it seems like is essentially that these boosts are going to be permanent, right, for the entire stage or the entire fight, because there's literally no stage or no no event in the game that lasts for a thousand turns, let alone two thousand turns. So this is just kind of a nice little flavor to the unit, I guess. Like they totally could have written like you know defense plus one thousand per key sphere obtained for the rest of the event, or you know two thousand attack per key sphere obtained for the rest of the event. But instead, they put one thousand and 2,000, I guess, as a nod to the two milestones that um, this guy had a part in, right? Obviously, for 1,000 days, um, he was you know, introduced into the game, and then for 2,000 days, he got an Extreme Z Awakening. So I like that. I like that. Obviously, it doesn't really matter, right, how many turns they put, because we can't go to 1,000 turns, but like I said, nice little flavor, little flavor text to the, to the unit right there. And uh, it's cool, man. It's a it's a really it's it's a good upgrade for sure. Um, I, I'm I'm not like in my mind right now. I'm not really. I'm trying to think about like how big of a difference you know these are gonna make. But um, either way, it's an upgrade. And that leader skill actually is really interesting. One twenty percent to all types. So I mean, it's like a, it's a combination, right, of the Tech Vegito Blue and also STR Rose's leader skill. Just combine it to one and uh that 12 key is interesting that passive is super interesting um it's gonna be interesting to see exactly how that works you know in practice right with the extra defense and attack boosts and uh, he still heals he now gets additional key which is uh which is always nice right so it's gonna be easier to get that 18 key super and yep yeah, that's the thousand day spirit bomb goku guys i i just i'm still blown away honestly like right now i'm just trying to wrap my mind around the fact that like we're getting two free to play Goku EZAs as opposed to the one, even the one, right? Just that one LR Goku EZA was getting people like super riled up, super excited. And I was hyped for this, man. Like I, I am hyped for this, but now we're getting two at the same time. You know, it's like a two for one kind of deal. Um, Pretty crazy, man. Now we don't know exactly how the EZA is going to work for the Spirit Bomb Goku, like the thousand day one, because we know that this guy, the the tech one's getting his own Extreme Z area, and uh, you need like six specific units that you need to rainbow, like fully awaken and rainbow, um, to run the event. So we know how that's gonna work, but we don't know exactly how the STR Goku is gonna work. Like, is is it gonna be a separate, you know, Extreme Z battle, or are they both gonna awaken from the same medals from the same Extreme, or sorry, not Extreme Z battle, Extreme Z area? Did I say Extreme Z battle before? I meant Extreme Z area. Like, is it going to be the same Extreme Z area event? Or is it going to be something different completely? I don't really know, man. I have no details right now about that, but all I can say is uh, I'm hyped and I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. I like how they're, you know, starting to easy A, these free to play LRs, giving me hope for LR androids, giving me hope for LR, um, say I meant one and two, Hercule. 
Frieza obviously is probably going to be coming sometime in the future and uh, all the other Prime Battle LRs hopefully to follow. So I'm hyped. Those are the details. Once again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about both of these. And uh, once more information comes out about maybe this guy's Extreme Z area or Extreme Z whatever event or anything else related to the 2000 day celebration on JP, I'll definitely let you guys know in a upcoming video. But for now, that's all I gotta say. That's all the details I have for you guys. Big shout out to Goresh once again for the translations. We appreciate you as always. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.